Hi there, Eve here from Vitamin Eve Nutrition Counseling and Thanksgiving is right around the corner and that means decorations, family and dressing like a turkey. I know that's not what you expected, but it's actually about eating a turkey, but I wanted to be fun for this special edition. Before I go over my 10 do's and don'ts on how to have amazing Thanksgiving that is not all about the food, it's about the food, but not all about the food. I want to share with you some of my decorating tips. I've shared this in a previous video and um, I got a great, great comment, so I wanted to share with you, for those of you who haven't seen my amazing decorating tips, I want to share with you how I decorate my house. And here it is. Boom. It's decorated. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm also aware that not everybody think, celebrates Thanksgiving. I know I have viewers from all around the world. This is something in the United States that we celebrate once a year where we come around, around food and family and friends to celebrate our gratitude for the year. So if you are not celebrating this with friends or family, that's okay. We have teddy bears, I understand. I have a teddy bear too. And this, your teddy bear or your furry friends, your pets definitely count as well. So let's get into it. I wanna share my top 10 do's and don'ts to have a great Thanksgiving that you really, really, really love and enjoy. So tip number one is to not pack your day full of events and errands and things to do. I know it could be tempting because a lot of people have time off and so we're very tempted to fill it up with errands, especially if there's family visiting from out of town, like spending a lot of time with them. That's great, but when we have too much going on, that could start to make us feel anxious and frantic. And oftentimes that anxiousness and that franticness could also show up in food. So please don't overpack your day. Tip number two, do find some time and some ways to reconnect with yourself. I just talked about this a few videos ago, the importance of attuning to yourself and tuning in. Now, I'm well aware not everybody has, you know, strategies on how to do that, so I want to share some of the ways I like to tune into myself and that my clients like to tune into themselves. And again, it's important to tune into yourself because when you're in alignment with yourself, it makes it easier to be in alignment with yourself, with your eating, with your food and all of that. So something I like to do is just sitting in the silence. So whether it's in my car or um, on my bed, sometimes I just, I just lie there and I just sit in the silence and that really helps me get attuned to my own feelings, my own breath. Deep breathing is another great way to do that, to attune to yourself. Journaling, oh, so fantastic for finding out what's going on inside of you. Sometimes new things come up in new ways when you write things out. Also, if you, are, if you have a pet, or if you're out in nature are also great ways to connect. And um, if you're blessed to have somebody in your life, whether that's a friend or a uh, coach or a therapist or a family member, somebody that you feel that it's safe to be around or somebody who gets it or gets you could be also very centering. So tip number two is to find ways to center, center um, within yourself. Tip number three is do not skip meals. Now, I can't emphasize how important this one is because when you skip meals, this sets you up for overeating later on. And again, this could be really tempting to do. Many people do this, you know, they reason, okay, I'm gonna have that great dinner with my friends tonight, or, you know, tonight's that potluck. And so people accidentally or mistakenly save themselves for that meal. And what ends up happening? They arrive too hungry and there's just too much food and it makes it really easy to overeat. So do not skip a meal. And it's, it's quite interesting really because even people who don't generally struggle with their food on Thanksgiving or on big holidays they end up struggling as well because you know they figure okay I'm gonna have this great meal so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip my next meal and so by the time everybody's surrounded and it's time to eat they end up overeating so please don't make that mistake tip number four is do plan to have your meals and snacks as usual stay well hydrated because remember you're probably going to be at that event for a while and there are going to be several layers of food so if you arrive famished that's just not going to turn out really well it could it could be really hard to navigate so when you get there you want to be at neutral or slightly hungry because that could really help you in making the best choices possible 
Furthermore, in this tip, you know, when you're not too hungry, it makes it easier to pass up, pass up on food. Because when you get too hungry, it almost feels like we're desperate to have anything and everything. And so I just want to remind you, you know, don't get there too hungry. It makes it easier to stop when you're comfortably full. And it makes it easier to say goodbye to those special holiday fo foods. Because again, oftentimes during this time of year, there's special foods around and it can feel like, oh no, this is the last time that the food is available. And I want to remind you that it isn't the last time. This food is available usually all throughout the year. So it's not the last time. Tip number five is don't save the best for last. This again could go against what most of us were taught growing up because when you save the best for last, so imagine you have this plate of food, right? And you save your best right here. And you know, you eat everything and now you're feeling kind of full, but your favorite is still there. What are you gonna do? You're gonna end up pushing past the point of fullness to include your favorite anyway. So I don't recommend doing that. I recommend that tip number six is to take a look at what's available and strategize your choices. You know, you want to pick foods that you really enjoy, that you feel will satisfy and nourish you and also feel comfortable in your body. So when you're eating, you also want to include your favorites towards the beginning. So when you're full, you're not compelled to push past the point of fullness. It makes it easier to stop when you've already included all the foods that you really wanted to have. So <laughs> my, my turkey costume is, uh, is falling off. So, <laughs> so yeah, you wanna stay physically comfortable in your body. Now, um, tip number seven is don't check out. Again, when there's a lot of family around, oftentimes there's sports on the TV and we might be checking out on watching sports or zoning out looking at our phones or zoning out wishing that we had a different group of friends or family or whatever. There's so many reasons why people might zone out. Now, when we zone out, that could, that could make things challenging for you because it makes it challenging when you're zoned out to be attuned to your body and to your food. So do not zone out. Tip number eight is to check in, to throughout the day or throughout the event, find ways to check back in with yourself. Kind of like the tip I talked about earlier. So even when you're out, some ways to check in, some ways I love to check in is while I'm eating, before I eat is maybe taking a few moments of gratitude for my meal, looking at it, looking at the colors and the, the textures and the shapes and the sizes of the food and take a moment of gratitude. That could be really helpful to check in. It's Thanksgiving, so it's kind of appropriate to take a moment of gratitude before you eat. And while I'm eating, I love to get very sensual with my food, like really get into the flavors, the textures, you know, what it sounds like when I'm chewing and all of that and the aromas, that could really help you stay present. If you're having a hard time checking in, if you're feeling like you're zoning out, please take a break. Take a break. Some things I like to do when I take a break is to take some time to wash my hands. Water, water could be very soothing. So washing my hands, getting a good lather on, you know, smelling the soap could be so helpful in getting back into your body. Maybe taking a quick walk, you know, outside or standing on the balcony and getting some fresh air could be a fantastic way to get back into your body. Maybe taking some time in the car and listening to a song or two on your own could be really helpful if you're having a hard time checking back in. Tip number nine is to have fun. Remember, this is an event that's not just about food, it's about your family members. How about checking in with them? How are they doing? You know, what's going on in their lives? And you don't have to be perfect. In other words, you may accidentally have too much to eat. You may accidentally have made a choice that you wish you hadn't. And that's okay too. I, I want to remind you, part of normal, happy, healthy eating is sometimes accidentally having too much or eating something that, you know, maybe you wish you hadn't. So learning how to be accepting of yourself is also part of tip number nine. And tip number 10 is to set an intention to use these tools. Maybe create a list of your own of things that you know work for you are helpful for you to have a great holiday. Setting the intention could be so powerful and so effective. You know, I never realized that while I was struggling with my eating issue, I was actually mentally rehearsing having a crappy time with food. So shifting that 
and actually mentally rehearsing and anticipating having an easy time, a lovely time with food could be so powerful in helping you have an amazing time. So set the intention and, in, and visualize yourself having an easy time with food. That could be very, very helpful. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below which tip was your favorite. What tip do you plan on using? Also, what do you think of me doing a video in my turkey outfit? Cool, not cool, fun, not fun. I mean, I'm having a great time, so you'll probably see more costumes. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, I invite you to subscribe, give me the thumbs up so you know, so I know that you like what I'm doing and happy eating. Thanks for watching.